Hey everybody, welcome to TFT Tarot for today. Divine Dabblings with Oberon and me, Banshee. You started it. <laughs> hey, how's it going everybody? I hope you're having a good day. I fell asleep watching a loud TV. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I can't imagine. So, fell a little behind here, sorry to say. All right, so let's get going. And I'm I'm kind of wearing my loungewear because, you know, it's freezing here. It's freezing. I got little hand warmers. Um, gosh, it's <laughs> cold. Do you know, Mr. O, it's going to be in the feel like the 20s tonight. And for opening day baseball tomorrow, because of the winds, it's going to feel like it's in the 30s. Pocket violence. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm not going to opening day. No, oh, it's birthday month. You got it, Victoria. <laughs> You're right. And Sonny's here to celebrate with me. All right. Well, speaking of birthday month, this liminal forest guidebook came in time for my birthday. As long as the t also with the tales for tomorrow, of course, Leonard Mond, which I think we'll both be using today. We'll share this deck. Ah, and let's see what card Mr. O is going to pull for us. What? And it's still MJ Kulanane Palooza over here. I found my wise dog tarot that I'm adding to the list. MJ Ducks I'm using today. All right. Oh. Mr. O. Not that one. I'm just kidding. Ooh. I guess it's appropriate, eh? Trust. You'll have to trust that I chose the right one. <laughs> you have to trust that he won't sing tonight. Hmm. Trust? Who do ya? 
Oh, God. <laughs> okay, trust. Trust is the cornerstone of our existence, subtly yet powerfully shaping the contours of our daily lives. It's what calms my nerves as I drive across a narrow bridge with cars zooming past, keeping panic at bay. Trust makes dining out a pleasure, reassuring us our food is cooked behind closed doors, is safe to eat. <laughs> oh, well, it underlines the bonds with our friends, the expectation of mutual support, and our belief that banks and other financial institutions will protect our money. Now, speaking of that, 30, what was it, a $30 million heist in California? I guess some businesses' money was not well protected. <laughs> we trust our pets will not destroy the house while we are gone. Hmm. Although some pets, looking at my dog Loki right now, MJ says, break that trust. <laughs> this fundamental reliance isn't exclusive to humans, but extends throughout the animal kingdom. Primates, elephants, and certain birds rely on each other for protection, sharing food and grooming, indicating that trust is vital for their survival and the cohesion of their communities. When trust enters the equation, it challenges us to evaluate our relationships. It asks us to consider who deserves our deepest secrets and whether we are worthy of theirs. Trust, therefore, isn't just about believing in others. It reflects our integrity and the strength of our connection. So, the question is, how trustworthy are you? How trustworthy are you, Scorpio, with my deepest, darkest secrets? <laughs> Try looking in a <the> mirror. <clears throat> <laughs> trust is very important, and we need to have trust. Um, it's hard sometimes when trust has been broken, you know, to trust others. It affects our relationship with other peoples when somebody breaks their trust with us. Do try to come back to, a, a, you know, um, an open heart and an open mind and don't hold, you know, a, the, the broken trust somebody else has done to you. <clears throat> don't hold that against others. And I see some other folks have joined us. Hi, yeah. SP, Dextros, and Mary the Aries. Hello. So it's good to see you all. And now that you're all here, it might be a good time to remind everybody that there will be no happy hour this week. No happy uh, hour. We will Sorry. be on the west side of the state reading cards at, at Art, a live event. At Arts, Arts and, and Crafts Craft store on Their, the west side. Their uh, annual spring psychic wellness fair. And yes, they will have a tamale truck, a food truck, Yay. once again joining us. All right. Okay, so that was what I had for the collective. And we are reading for Sir V. All right. What is V's question? Yes. Libra on the cusp of Scorpio. <gasps> Scorpio, Libra, cusp. Oh, two more days and I would hate you. <gasps> There's a story there, Victoria, really, and it's not a pretty one. <laughs> All right, well, I'm a shuffling these. Is this your reading then? The one what two, is coming towards me for love? Uh, no, we'll do okay. three cards on that one. All right, I think it's hey, a little more. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> That's right, Violet. Solicit work for us. <laughs> All right, so card one for V is the reversed Queen of Cups. Ooh. Card two is the Page of Wands. <clears throat> and card three is the Magician. Upright? Yes. Okay, this well. This is the uh, Tarot of the Princesses. 
First, there Already is a mountain. Starting with the mountain. Which, then there is which no I think mountain. came up a lot in our last then show. There is. First, there is a mountain. Then there's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tie a yellow ribbon. So, what is coming towards you uh, with a switch for love? Um, well. Reverse Queen of Cups. Yes, I know that. And then of Wands. I know that, the Magician. The magician. I knew all that. I'm trying to put it all together. And I think here, <clears throat> you know, this might be kind of emotional up and down time for you. It seems like you might be a little bit blue, but I want you to know, Mary, that uh, it seems as though this maybe it's possible. What? This is V. I'm sorry, V. I said Mary. I'm, that's not Mary the Aries. It's V. Well, V, I want to tell you what's coming towards you with love is there is a bit of disappointment. It just seems like your emotions are roiling right now. Uh, you could be disappointed, you know, in a relationship or with, you know, uh, people, uh, relationships that are or maybe struggling to find a relationship. I feel here you should be open to accepting invitations and messages at this time. Um, I believe that you can manifest something you truly want this month if you keep open and remain open to communication. I think that's important here. I can't say it's always going to be pleasant. There may be some, you know, emotional rough edges here. And really, if I look at the Lenormand too, I'm just going to breeze through this. If I look at the Lenormand too, I think there is growth here, potential in love for you, in your love life, but not without struggling through some obstacles first. Well, when I s see the question, what's coming towards you in love, and I see a reverse Queen of Cups leading the charge. I think that there is the possibility that what's coming towards you maybe is somebody who is emotionally not as sound as you might like. I don't think this is oh. yourself. I think this is somebody coming to you. Okay. But maybe there is an opportunity here. Um, the Page of Wands could represent the idea that this is something you still can make something out of or move beyond it's that magician card so i'm thinking this is still you know somebody who's interesting but maybe they have something powerful and masterful so there's like a a twin drawn away that makes them kind of interesting they might have emotional uh catharsis right now but they also seem to have a masterful quality too in a way and i'm wondering you know if that means that this is really something workable for you or if it's something that really like banshee saying presents the idea that um well looking at the lenderman the struggle is being influenced by the tree and maybe this is a person you feel you could help grow in some ways but you realize that there this is like the kind of thing that will roil, like Banshee was saying. Wow. There's roiling here. It's not just the mountain, it's the Queen of Cups too. Yeah, and you know what? When you when I think about it and I look at the tree and the mountain, I'm wondering if it's suggesting that growing something in a particular relationship or, you know, a new relationship is kind of fraught with obstacles right now. I think maybe growth is, you know, there may be growth through obstacles, but also Growth could be hampered by some obstacles right now. And it might be just somebody who's just, you know, if it's got to be somebody else, because I did kind of allude, it could be you. It could be you feeling bummed out, V. But I think if it is somebody else, it's somebody who just doesn't have it together emotionally. And um, I do think communication is essential here in order to manifest desired results. I like but, that. That's the best I can do with that, really. Um, anything else you have to add, or did you cover it? No, I think that covers it pretty well. I, I had another thought about the yeah. the page and the magician both being about things starting, you know, in a way, too. You know, that sort of beginning That's flux. True. And so this could be saying this is the part of a process that will, you know, uh, have some back and forth with you. It's not that it's unstable. It's just not, not necessarily consistent. 
I mean, there could be a new, be you know, he's right. Pages are about new beginnings. So there could be like a start over or restart or a new beginning of some sort. But it is fraught with some obstacles, you know, towards the growth. And so I think that there are things that need to be worked through, which is why I think and communication it's challenging is with yeah, those cards too. essential. It's challenging. Wow. Well, good luck with that, V. And remember, right now, Mercury is retrograde. <laughs> so communication could be the stumbling block here, really. Be careful with how you communicate with other people. Not right. used to that, eh, Kara? That sounds like nothing to me. <laughs> I've had a lot of blood taken out. A hiney doctor. Uh, oh, they keep Eight changing tubes that. tubes of blood. They you know, yeah, that. I had that. And as a matter of fact, I had my physical, the year they discovered my cancer, I had my physical where they discovered the cancer. The doctor sent me up for a follow-up where I got four more things taken out. And then I had to go to a specialist the next month and have more vials taken out. Yeah, I felt really drained. I felt like I was being drained by vampire doctors or something. Anyway. Well, you ought to do it because you need to set up those kind of baselines around this time period. You know, so that they'll be able to look at you later when something is happening and say, oh, this was your baseline, though, so clearly, you know. <laughs> I do believe that. All right. Well, we are on Nicole, I believe, right? And yes, and Nicole, Nicole says, she, uh, ah, does my Libra miss me? Well, what do you <clears> want to do with that? Should I do a yes, no? Should I do three cards? Am I using this one, too? I guess, yes, you are. Mm -hmm. We're going to share that one. I think nice try, we're going to do three cards, see if it comes out. See what your Libra might be thinking of you. You know, when it gets windy out, it gets a little drafty in here. Did we say something like that to you, Dex, before? I don't remember. It seems familiar, but I'm not sure. I see that caps there. Shut up, Lotus. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, they don't have to come back during the retrograde. Maybe it'll be after... <laughs> Okay, I'm using my Wise Dog Tarot by MJ Coolinane, and I've got the Seven of Wands reversed. Pretty. Oh, gosh. I've got the Ten of Swords, but I think it's reversed. Am I no, right? No, it's upright. It's upright. But I got the Page of Cups upright. This is going to be a wacky reading, I think. I know. We're just having fun. It's always fun until somebody says, ah, you Until hurt somebody my gets feelings. hurt. No. You hurt me. <laughs> I'm channeling my mom again, eh? He's very bad lately. I don't know. <laughs> my mom was a one of a kind Scorpio. All right. So in the Lenormand. What you got? It's the ring. Oh, boy. Oh, I thought that was a heart at first. It's a ring. Oh, boy. Okay. And the lily. Oh. Okay, so... This is just a weird reading. Oh, There's, this is not Dex's reading. This is Nicole's reading. No, this is Nicole's, yeah. yeah. This is a weird reading, Nicole. Um, I hope we can get to the bottom of it, because it's hard to say what they're feeling. On one level, they feel maybe taken advantage of or that they feel like they're not in a good position with you or you know i'm having a hard time with that one i think this one no with the sub with this uh seven of wands but the ten of swords indicates to me i don't know this must have been a weird situation maybe between the two of you are you separated is that what's going on here and was there some argument of some sort 
was was um does my Libra miss me? See, I never know if you're together with the Libra or not. I would say here that there just seems to be some feeling, I don't want to say a sense of betrayal, but just a deep pain of some sort associated with either feeling, a feelings of being taken advantage of, or maybe that they had taken advantage of a situation. Um, what do you got with those two? Well, I feel that there is a sense, really, of not being able to get back with them. And I know you've yeah. asked this question before under a different identity. Um, you weren't always Nicole. I know who you were before. And I think that it's not really clear. I think there's an objectiveness about this Libra, but I think it is kind of a finny, you know. I feel that sort of they are not coming back. The Seven of Wands reversed. The Ten of Swords, they just sort of feel they're not coming back. Maybe there's a sense of them feeling like they were the ones stabbed in the back or that they just sort of feel it's over. So are you saying that the Seven of Wands indicates that they, don't they feel them. there's no advantage to coming back? The overall question is, do they miss you? And oh, that's true. I'd say it's not. They okay, don't. let's, yeah. And that's what their feelings are, is that they are, they are not going back. The Page of Cups is curious, interesting, because it suggests a curious nature, like maybe... There is something a little curious or objective about them, but given the other cards, I would say no. However, when we turn to the Leonard Mann, it gets a little interesting. Well, I don't know. Um, because right, I remember, because I remember who you, you used to be. Oh, best friends. Well, the thing is, Nicole, that I kind of feel <clears throat> here that they don't feel, you know, he's right. You know, they're not missing you necessarily. The reason why is there's something new happening in their life. There's some emotional happiness, whether it's with a partner, whether it's with, you know, friends. It's something new and emotionally satisfying. And it seems like it's leading towards some long-term, you know, commitments. It's like they're moving on to something else they're committed to. They're growing into a different direction or some direction. I think they've chosen a different path. The lilies seem to indicate some maturation of some other kind of commitments or relationships in their life. And I think that's what's going on here. And they're kind of, you know, like those Ten of Swords there buried into their back. They're kind of burying that past, you know. They're kind of letting it go because of this new situation in their life. Sorry. Yeah. That's what it seems to be. I don't mean to be hard. I guess I was mincing, but I don't know why I was having a problem with the Seven of Wands at first. I couldn't figure out how I wanted to read that. We you just, really got me on track with that. Sorry. No, that's fine. Thank Hi, you. Shirley. So you got me on track with I that. I know. You said you're sorry that you got me on track? Man. Sometimes I am sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on. Hopefully, I'll be back on track for the next reading. Libra. It's Libra. So now we have Libra. Sorry, Nicole. Wish we had better news for you. I guess I had forgot about that situation. You were trying to... I guess jog my memory there, but it didn't help, sadly. All right. I know now. I know. I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't happen at the time. Where is... Saw her um, at a pizza place. Her daughter was with her. I don't. Okay. Oh. So, yeah, that's got to be a bummer. You know, there's a little bit of proximity. Yeah, when you've got to see somebody who you're separated from, you know, or not friends there. with anymore. That's sad. I have been there. Mr. O, may I have the Lenormand? You gave me two cards. Thank you. So it'll be your deck for Libra. Okay. And... What's coming towards me? That can be mine. My reading. Mm -hmm. 
Well, even though I'm wearing my loungewear, I decided to put some jewelry on so I would look somewhat presentable. So the first card is the reversed Ten of Swords. What's coming towards you is maybe a reversal of some forces you've been facing that maybe have put you in a corner or felt like there was, a, you know, an attempt to kind of, you know, mesh with you a little bit. But what's coming towards you is maybe a reversal of that or a way of casting that aside, of reversing, you know, enmity against you, strife or, you know, hands raised against you. It's sad when you can't get closure, Nicole. So sorry. Wow, and oddly enough, with Mr. Ozdek for our next reading, for Libra, we've got the Ten of Swords reversed we're starting with now. And so I kind of feel here, gosh, I've got hair. I don't know if it's sunny hair. Ah, anyway, um, I don't know, Libra, what's coming towards you is the sense of recovery from or or getting back on getting back getting your life back together after some sort of setback or some sort of like he said it could you felt like maybe you were betrayed or stabbed in the back in some way and you know this doesn't have to be a personal attack by a friend or a relative or even a um co-worker it could be situational you know, let's say you get, this is getting ahead of myself here, as it hasn't happened to us yet, but let's say you get audited by the IRS or something, and you feel like you've been stabbed, you know, you feel like you've been hit from behind, something, an uh, um, unjust medical bill, something that you just didn't expect is, you know, coming towards you. But you are recovering from that. You are sort of now realizing, I can face this, Things will get better. So why is this important? It's the reverse Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, because it might affect you financially. Wow, it's interesting I brought up some financial things there, and then I get that. It could affect you financially, or it just could... You know, you're still feeling a little bit imbalanced here overall. Sometimes I look at the pentacles and think of, a, you know, especially the night in a way, of a little bit of lack of grounding. It may be that you are struggling a little bit to get back to where you want to be because of this situation. You're trying, but, you know, things are still not where they need to be. So what I said was this possibility or opportunity to overturn forces that seem to be against you. It's important though, because you have to realize that maybe whatever that is has to be done really slowly, maybe even looking disingenuously like you're not involved in a way, like you're just sort of, you know, just moving to some other slow beat. This may be saying that this is something that really has to be thought about or, or, or approached with an incredibly slow measured pace for some reason, because you may not resolve it without maybe attention to details that are going on or attention to things that could escape you that you can't go back for. So that's why it's important, I think. Well, you gotta pay attention. I think that's really clear yeah. in or, and focus and not allow yourself to get into like a, a funky mood where you're just going to eh, shrug your shoulders and let things happen. Ultimately, where does it lead to? The star. It will lead to a lot better, Libra. It really will. It will lead to some <laughs> hope, it? some hope, uh, inspiration. It will. A sense of some destiny. So I think that, you know, taking the steps to to realize that whatever is coming towards you can be refuted and also that you're just going to have to really spend some time with that overall situation will lead to, you know, better happiness or better opportunity. I could read the letter on two ways, but I want to read it this way and I want to read it in conjunction with the star. Yes, the star is all about hope. I think hope returns. I think that if you can get over your melancholy or whatever about this situation, focus your attention on it, make things right again, recover, their hope will return. And the reason I'm saying that is because of this scenario. The book. 
And the sun, here comes the sun. Nice. The book in the sun. So I think you will find a way, you will find a way to get the things right. The light will return. The sun almost seems to magnify the star here in that you will figure it out. You will figure out what you need to do. You'll either do some research, some due diligence, uh, maybe get the proper people to offer you advice or assistance uh, and look things up for you and you will get this right. Hi, Lilith. Hey, Lilith. What is the sun but just another star? So I That's sort of right. like the idea of them being there because it magnifies that sense of that. You know, you are finding out that maybe the world is more right than what you th thought it was. And mostly probably because you just sort of take your time to get through whatever the situation is. I kind of feel um, this is going to work out, whatever this is. You're in a process here. You're kind of in a process of of recovery or getting back on your feet again after a bit of a blow uh you're you're a little bit shaky it's okay but you gotta focus it's really important and you know you will you will find your way through this hope will return and i think it's because you will figure out exactly what it is you need to do and take care of and take care of it good luck with that all right Victoria, the mice are waiting. No, no mice for Victoria. We hope not. <laughs> well, you know what? The cards are in Mr. O's hands. I'll be doing a tarot deck. So remember that first card, trust? <laughs> Do you trust the Scorpio? What's coming towards me in the love department? Mice Free Thursday. Hashtag Mice Free Thursday. Oh, Mice Free Thursday. <laughs> well, let's see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. The nice man with the bad voice <laughs> at the karaoke yeah. table. <laughs> well, you know what? We were talking about Toby earlier today, so I'll use the Grimalkin Cat Tarot. The Grimalkin Curious Cat Tarot. So, hey, all you guys with relationship questions, don't forget, I give a reading for each sign of the zodiac. Two cards. What is your opportunity or challenge emotionally? And what action is required to help get you there? That's my Friday morning show, The Emotional Exchanges. Don't forget again, this week, no happy hour. No we'll happy hour. out of hour town. Anymore. We're sorry, but we've got to make some money. And it'll be fun seeing our old friends on the other side of the state. Yes. If you show up in the chat room, you are added, but we do appreciate anyone and everyone who likes the video, who likes the live stream. So thank you, Firestorm. Well, and that is if you show up in the chat in a timely manner and you made it, Firestorm. Fire spawn. Sorry. Hmm. Too much information, Victoria. Victoria, you need a rest. <laughs> oh, this dear. Four it's the of Four swords. of Swords. Sounds like some recovery time Snuggle is in order, Toby. hint, hint. Snuggle up with Toby. Who oh, needs Oh, and then that? you got the Seven of Swords reversed. Hmm. This but. was almost... Okay. That, we had that Seven of Swords reversed before. In this show? Yeah, for uh, one of our first readings. Oh. You forget? No, it was the Seven of Wands. Oh, I thought that was the Seven of Wands. No, Seven of Swords. Got it. Page of Cups. But we had that in a reading. Oh, how I know <laughs> that. So, oh, that's very interesting in regards to your question. Let's see what else. No mice, but how about our nice coffin? Ooh. And child. A moment of silence. Yeah, I have to think about that one. All right, but I do see something here. I think that 
Well, what's going on in the love department? I will say this. I don't even know if this has anything to do with that. Maybe Mr. O will spin it thereof. But I really do feel this is saying you got to recoup a little bit of your energy. You've got to recoup a little bit. You may have to pull back from some activities for a little bit. The seven of... Um, Swords. Swords here. Yes, I know. Seven of Swords here indicates that uh, I think... This truth will become evident to you that you really do need to fall back a little bit. But the good news is I do see something developing here this month, potentially. I see a possible invitation. I see, you know, at least the start of something. It could be just a friendly dialogue and flirting, as you say. But it definitely seems like something could be beginning. Seven of Swords, things being revealed, but is it talking about the idea that you need to rest? Or is it talking about, ooh, interesting oh, new possibility? Maybe it's finding out about Or is it you know, saying you need to rest boy. to be at your best for interesting new possibility? Well, I won't rule the fungibility out of that middle card there. I like that. Go on. Well, uh, that just allows me to switch into the Lenormand because, of course, the Page of Cups does possibly represent a younger person or at least a person younger in mind. But you also have the child in Lenormand and the coffin. And so my sense would be that maybe anything really new with a younger person probably won't stand the test of time. Oh, yeah, is this person, did you say they're younger than you? They did not say that. Okay. Well, I, I also wonder here if this is saying... Just refer to as nice man at karaoke. <laughs> this could, well... <clears throat> okay, I can see what he's saying about it notwithstanding the test of time. But what I might also consider here is you need to take things slow with this. Otherwise, it could end abruptly. So in other words, let this let this germinate. Let this flirting and Okay, you know, so ask about his son if he's that old. <laughs> <laughs> well, so let this germinate. Don't ask let about this the cows. um take this slow, let this flirting and this uh interplay play run its course and see where it takes you. I think that if you move too quickly uh, you know, things could come to an end. I think that this is saying slow it down a little bit, otherwise things could come to an end. I was wondering if I should go mm. with the other way with it, is maybe you shouldn't be slow and things will come to an end. But I'm not feeling well, that. Well, I sort of feel like it could be it. saying that you are slowly moving towards the end of, of something and maybe that's the idea of being single or maybe it's the idea of not being single. Hmm... It's a little bit of an ambiguous reading here. It's only because I think that Four of Swords puts a little bit of a damper on things. It shows you... Well, it's almost a synonym for the coffin in a way, right? In a way. Yeah. But, well, yeah, because, I mean, the Four These of Swords two, is about... Those a, two. What's in the middle? <laughs> about a, lie, a body lying a in repose. deception coming out. About a lo body lying in repose. So I think here that that's the truth, but... The Four of Swords is not interpreted as an ending or a death card. It's a pullback card. And it's a pullback card because you need to. So take it for what it is. Maybe you're going to find something out about this flirty guy that will want you to go slow and possibly say, no, thank you, ultimately. I don't know. We'll have to look into this more, I think. I think you need another uh, karaoke night. <laughs> Ice up that knee and come back on Sunday. To see where this goes. <laughs> you can't move fast right now. <laughs> yeah, well, don't. And no more falling. Remember? Remember what I said. So you're a karaoke and you fell for someone? No, it wasn't like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but maybe there is a little falling going on there uh, in that uh, sense. I see. Oh, it's the last Friday of the month? Oh. Well, that wasn't so long ago, was well, it? Well, <laughs> did he exchange numbers with you? Probably not. So I guess you're going to have to wait it out. You know, Mercury is retrograde, and not that I want to blame it on anything, 
But I think that, you know, maybe this is just a slower time. And you're going to realize that, you know, things aren't happening immediately. It might take till after the retrograde till things start moving. But that page of cups is a good sign. I do think it's a good sign of some activity in the romance department. Whether it sticks, that, you remember, pages are just the beginnings. So that's what we have for you. Good luck with that. And Lena is up. Lena asks, a uh, love reading for the next six months. So I'm going to use my Secrets Tarot. You're welcome. Oh, Victoria. for goodness sakes. He just knocked all my Lenormand all over the place. You have Spank to be his with. butt. Oh, my gosh. Well, Could you then, take the camera off? I can. Because uh, um, you're is a be sight to behold. A piece of work. Don't move the table yet, because you might step on some of my cards here. Okay, good. Thank you. There's one right under there. Uh -huh. That may be it. But there's some in here. Oh. A lot of them. <laughs> I see. Oh, do I see. Hey, don't touch me there. Hey, ah, I'm not... Ah, hey, ah. what are you saying? <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> 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 you mean you didn't turn the volume off? Oh no. Let me count them. Go ahead. You could pull that back and put the camera That's back on. That's not a card you're counting there. Will you stop that? <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Mr. O, you should have shoveled up your hair or something. <sighs> Mr. O, in typical Scorpio fashion, is trying to start gossip and rumors. Oh, hell no. We're counting, counting the Lenderman with the ego and the dove of the dove. Scorpios are. They're all there, naughty. and you're just lucky they aren't bent, Sonny. Oh. Fire Spawn, you're a Scorpio, aren't you? I think you said that before. Maybe it's V. I don't remember. <laughs> wow! If we get through this show, it's going to be amazing. Okay. Thank so goodness we it's are Thursday. On Lena. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and supposedly we were doing a love reading for the next six months. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're striking out on these love readings today too. I'm sorry about that. I would like to blame it on the retrograde. Um, maybe. <laughs> Can I blame Sunny? Well, reasonably collected. <coughs> Lena, first card is the Knight or Knave of, oh, I'm sorry, Page or Knave of Wands. This one really gets the brilliance. And then there's the Queen of Cups. And then there's the Nine of Swords. Goodness. So I almost feel like there's a brief affair going on in six months' time, and that the overall result will make you have, you know, some anxieties or some some amount of, you know, sleepless nights over it. Some of this is because there's a lot of an emotion attached to this, but I think this is not a very definitive reading towards love reading. It just sort of gives me that sense of of where I see a picture going. And the picture goes to maybe something short-lived, but uh, beginning somewhere in the six months. And it is a very emotional thing, uh, but it may seem to um, either move along some lines that you know will leave you wanting, or it's not clear if this is going on beyond six months. Well, I don't see any indications that it's necessarily short-lived, but it might be a relationship that causes some anxieties for some reason i think here something could get off the ground and it could be making you very emotionally happy it's something that you seem to desire um or maybe you are desired by somebody else um and there is some anxieties attached to this either there's worries you know that you're you know this this will not fulfill you or that 
this will um you was that you what? was you did you pound the table no i put a glass down on the table That's okay i thought i heard a table. knock at the door so i must be crazy okay so at any rate I think it'll cause you some anxieties. It might be because you're afraid that they are just, it's too good to be true. Something's just not right there. And maybe the Lenormand can tell us, oh, look who's back. The child of the novelty. And with the book. You are a pest this time. I just want you to know. The, the book. book. So I think you're going to find out that, um, oh, I don't know, you know, I... I could look at this a couple of ways, Lena. There could be a child involved. Maybe this person was in a previous relationship or marriage, and they have children, and that's causing you to stress out a little bit, a little bit of anxiety, um, a little bit of worry, you know, <clears throat> that they could, this, this, you know, could interfere with you having a really good relationship with this person. It could also indicate a level of maturity, too, that maybe this person is younger than you and you're just worried if they're going to be faithful, if they're really true blue, you know, if they really, you know, won't be running around and playing the field. I do feel that they're younger in some terms or younger in thought. And I think that the book's role there is maybe that you might feel, I don't know if you'll feel fatigued over this or not, but it feels like your role may be bringing information to this person. Maybe you are mentoring them in some way. Um, and so it may end up being, you know, uh, a different kind of relationship where maybe, you know, the emphasis is not exactly on emotional love. Oh, Maybe. Well, <clears throat> I think they could be mentoring that person. I'm not going Lena could be mentoring a younger person. Maybe even in the way of ways of romance. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sunny hair? No, just my typical two sneezes in a row. <laughs> They're not always on the show, but... Okay. So that's what we have for you. It's kind of weird, and it's for the next six months. This is going to play out. So, yeah, Over I think time. it's going to play out. Um, you don't have to let us know. Good luck, Good luck with that. All right. Oh, naughty Kara hasn't given a question yet. Kara, where's your question? How much more blood will I have to give? <laughs> That's a very good question, Kara. I'm coming over tonight, by the way. Mwahaha. <laughs> Wow. Well, let me see. Let me see. What do you need to be aware of? Phony Count Dracula imitators. Mwahaha. Well, there's just no stopping Mr. O tonight, so I'm not going to. I can't stop it. Can't stop the silliness. What is that song? Can't stop the feeling that... I can't fight this feeling anymore. No, I wasn't thinking of that one. Oh, okay. I was thinking of the Justin Timberlake song. Can't stop the feeling. Oh, you don't want me to do that one. Dance, dance, dance. I can't stop the feeling. <laughs> I don't know how he gets his voice to do that. Okay, probably the same way Michael Jackson did. Hey. Sometimes think you confuse him with a different singer. But Who? Justin Timberlake. He knew Michael Jackson, didn't he? I did, but... Oh no, yeah. not you. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, of course, but still. That was why I brought him into the conversation. Ah. Uh. Try to keep up. You're too obtuse for me. Apparently, that's not very hard anymore. All right, Kara. I am focused. So what do you need to be aware of after all these vials of blood were taken from you and stuff? It was a vile thing. <laughs> I can relate. I'm tired of doctors. Sheesh. Oh my gosh, and what do I get? It's a doctor. No. 
It's the Knight of Swords. Operation. <laughs> Take out wrenched ankle. It's the Knight of Swords. So what do you need to be aware of? Well, you may have some decisions you have to make. There may be some certain moves that are necessary. You may find out about like test results or a decision mm. too. You know, in a sense, that precipitates it. I don't want to just equate this to, you know, your health exam or anything like that. But I think here there may be some information that comes to you that will make you have to decide on what you're going to do. This is more of a quality than an actual tangible thing to learn. So it may be that you have to learn the quality of expediency of maybe moving as if, you know, your life or other lives depend on it. And yeah, that sounds very dramatic, but you know, there's these helicopters in the background and it looks <laughs> like it's a MASH scene, you know, the MASH show or something like that. So this is saying what you need to be aware of is that there may be some dramatic things that will be coming to you that may involve dramatic moves on your part or that things are going to move dramatically for you. It's not necessarily a sign of bad because because it's also saying this is a time where maybe you will find inner courage. Well, so I think you have to make a mover decision. And, you know, this could be in your personal life. I mean, your interactions with others, too. You know, I think about some of the other things you've got going on. And so it could relate to that, making the right decision appropriate for yourself. And, yeah, I think you're going to be called upon to make this decision for whatever it is rather quickly. If you got that sword... Take it to Walter and, and do by the what way, needs to be done. This is MJ's unfinished business tarot, so I am sure there's an interesting ghost story behind that one. So why is this important? Oh, it's the King of Wands reversed. Gosh, this almost looks like a picture you showed me, Kara, of a person. <laughs> I know, and I just mentioned them. Isn't that wild? Walter? Yeah, he's got, you know. <laughs> okay, maybe he doesn't have a beard like that. Why is but. it important? Because the king is not on his throne, and whether that's Walter or not. This decision may involve somebody who, um, who really, I think, is a little bit overly aggressive in a way in their approach. They want, you know, in a sense, maybe... They're trying to rush you into making this decision, I wonder. And so, you know, do what's right for you here. Don't let anybody push you into a corner, whoever this may be. You take the time you need and get the knowledge you need to make the appropriate decisions you have to make. I'm having some fun with the Walter idea, but I don't think it's really necessarily be, a big part of the reading. But for this, why is this important? I think what this is saying is really you can't pretend your way out of it. You can't pretend everything is okay. You have to more or less uh, be firm in, in trying to have a good belief about it. So in other words, not putting on airs, not saying everything's going to be okay, admitting that there may be work to do or that there's a course to take. Are you ready for this? So where is this headed? Damn you, Walter. Six of cups. No, no, no. Wait a minute, I better look at the letter man. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Well, let's, let's take this one card at a time here. We're really having a show today. We're sorry, guys, but... You know, it's really interesting to me, Kara, because this has ties to the past. And somebody wanting to, you know, or where's this heading? Rekindling old ties to the past. Good, the good times. Or the supposed good times. Okay, are we coming out to Staten Island to marry you and Walter? We can do that, you know. We're, we're yeah, we're, we're legal ordained. Priests. Wouldn't you want that? <laughs> we'll keep it cheap. Oh, wait a minute. You guys got money. Anyway, Carol, we're getting way ahead of ourselves here, <laughs> clearly. So in other words, now that I think about this, this really does remind me of what you're going through. Because 
you've got some really important moves and decisions to make here and make sure they are in your best interests. You know, the Knight of Swords, he moves pretty fast. Don't be pushed to move fast, though, because I feel here this person is going to apply some pressure on you. You know, they're going to want something. And um, they're going to possibly use, you know, where this is headed is using, you know, some past ties, some past happinesses to get you to make the decision that they want you to make. You know, we were both saying that this isn't about Walter, or maybe it isn't, or ooh, maybe it is. I know. So now the Lenormand. And I hope Victoria's in the room, but she was doing water. Don't tell it's me. the mice. Oh. <laughs> the mice have shown up, but the sun. So you're going to probably blast them with sunlight. <clears throat> I mice, don't care. Mice run from the sun. So let me just say that, you know, your possibility of seeing Walter again. Yeah. That's not what the question was, though. No, it's not. It's not. But I can't help but think this. But okay, I'm going to try to be more general after I look at this Walter situation. Because I really feel here that some, somehow the sun is going to dispel your troubles. You yeah. know, the sun is going Knowledge. to clear up any stress, any tension. It just seems like there's some success <clears throat> over troubles here and worries and anxieties. So well, he may try to play a, a good game, but it doesn't look like it'll work. I don't know. I have a thought here. I have a thought. I'm just going to say this, and then I want to go back and recap it, and I'm sorry this is taking so long. But I have a thought here that you're going to have a really important decision to make. Somebody's going to try to manipulate you into making it and using some of the good times in the past to try to rekindle, you know, an old flame. I feel here that maybe you can look at the things more clearly now, more clearly, and realize that it may be more trouble than it's worth, or maybe too much trouble. Maybe. I'll go with that. Now, if this is about any other matter in your life, you have an important decision to make. Don't allow somebody to pressure you into making a decision too quickly. If this is about your health, if this is about something else in your life, Kara, you need to give it the appropriate thought and make the right moves for yourself. There may be some information from your past, something that you did in the past that can assist you and help you in making this decision. I think that you will do the right thing and you will find the solution that will dispel some of the stress that or, you know, troubles that you are facing. To me, one of the more important cards is that reverse King of Wands because it's in why it's important, Kara. And I think it's important to realize that, like I said, you can't bluff your way out of it. If you don't feel confident, it's okay to admit that. Um, but you can't fake being confident enough to push your way through this. This may be something, you know, that you'll just have to settle on what your limitations are. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. All right. Uh, wow, that's what we have for you. Um, <laughs> you know, I couldn't help it because it just looked so much like what you, you know, what can of worms has just opened for you recently. But on a more general sense, we tried to give you an idea there. So good luck with that. Well, there are many simple ways <laughs> to get rid of him. Oh, Mr. O can help you with that, too. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Kara could probably do a couple herself. <laughs> All right. I'm going to combine two that I know of, and it'll be called the Get Away From Me Dummy spell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Good luck with that, Kara. Oh, my gosh. Sorry we had a little <clears throat> silliness there. So although we are not here uh, Saturday for happy hour... We will be here Sunday for Banshee's Material Matters. It's our pre-recorded show. Banshee helms it, gives astrological information, and all of your weekly tarot keys to success in business, education, and finance. And, of course, we'll be here at 2 p.m. for our live show. All right. So we are on Divine Empress Aries. Yes. Hi, Divine Empress. 
Well, 25 to 35. I do want to remind you, Divine Empress Aries, that age is just a number. There are plenty of immature guys at whatever age. You know what I mean? <clears throat> If you divorce me, you still only get half. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on. Well, it wasn't about dating, but when I was 19, I know what you most mean. of I'm my friends teasing. were around 25 because <laughs> I went away to college and I immediately gravitated to older people. So, Mr. O, what about a duck for that reading? Yes, indeed. I will go back to the Tarot of the Princesses. Generally speaking, you know. <laughs> Generally speaking. I think men and everyone in particular really does mature up. And, you know, women may be mature in some ways, but they're not necessarily totally mature either. Nobody's really mature until they're Everybody matures differently. And there are some 30. people who never seem to get there. I think people need to get through their first Saturn return, which is approximately age 28 or so, before they really are mature. And that's both sexes. Hi, Sonny. Yeah, we're going to put those letter It's the Saturn on return thing. When Saturn returns to your chart, again, after being away since your birth, it's kind of like a lesson of time. You're moving on to the next level, which is true adulthood. Unbelievable. So chill, uh, all you young people. <laughs> cat. All right. I'm just doing regular three cards, right? Right, here we go. Well, you know, I may have to do the timing cards, but go ahead. Nine of Wands, upright. There's always variations, and of course astrology might play into that too. Yes? I'm trying to decide what it is. I believe it is the... I think it's the Queen of Swords, but go ahead and tell me otherwise. It's the Queen of Swords. Yes. And she's reversed. And then finally, the reversed Eight of Pentacles. Let's look at your question. Oh, again. boy. So what are you doing to try to find such men? Um, are you looking in the right places? Are you, I don't know, the, the Eight of Swords reversed is kind of like saying that nothing seems to be working right now in this regard. Um, with the, what's the middle one again? That the Queen? The Queen of Swords. And then reversed. the Eight. Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands. And the ground has to be, you know, it's almost like you have to, Prepare the ground more for this, if this makes sense. I mean, you have to, you have to be able to do some work to figure out how to find these people. For example, are you expecting him to find them at clubs or events where mostly younger people are? So in other words, you're going to have to try to find a way to... Prepare the ground for what you want to accomplish here. With the Queen of Swords reversed, it just seems like something is lacking in your decision-making on this. Um, you know, your inability to make the right moves to, uh, to accomplish this, to accomplish what you truly want. Something is lacking here. In some, in some way that you are not attracting the older, you know, more mature individuals that you want. I'm not sure why your guides would have a role here. I sort of think like it's really your free will, and I don't think your yeah, guides I... necessarily want you to be with someone, or I'm not sure why you asked the question that way. But the Nine of Wands, I'm looking at a person who's holding their head in their hands and nine of wands to me the energy there seems to suggest that there's a sense of resignation like you feel you have no choice you have to do this to some degree the queen of swords though to me suggests 
harshness in making decisions. Sometimes the queen thinks she's making the right decision and she may very well be, but the perception of that will mostly be that it's a harsh decision from others. So I'm wondering if maybe this mostly says oh. you're just being too harsh on yourself in a way because the head off, you know, the sadness, the resigned thing. Then finally moving to the Eight of Pentacles reversed. To me, I think this just suggests that maybe it isn't the plan you think it is. Maybe this isn't the plan. The plan, you know, that things go the way you absolutely want them to be. Maybe there's something else. Well, I'm not going to go with what he's saying there, but I like some of that a lot. I think the Nine of Swords, you know, I would have read the Nine Wands. of Swords Wands more in the way of prepare, you are prepared for this kind of move or you feel you're ready for something like this, except for these other cards. They just didn't indicate that to me. And so I feel like you have to do more to try to attract that. And, you know, I'm looking at that Queen of Wands zone when he started talking, or Swords, and when he started talking about it, I thought to myself, well, maybe people aren't seeing, maybe these older individuals aren't seeing a softer side of you. They want to see a softer side of you. Maybe they think you're looking at things more colder and calculating, um, you know, than romantically maybe even. I don't know. That's just a thought that crossed my mind as he was talking about some of the characteristics of the Queen of Swords. But I like what you said too about this idea of maybe it's not the plan or maybe it's not a good plan. Maybe you just can't focus on the plan either because... The clouds... That means the coffee's about to show up, right? No, it's the birds. Birds there, and clouds. There's just a lot of uncertainty and confusion about trying to connect and find these people. I feel here in connecting with them because the birds is about, you know, communication, establishing networks, <clears throat> uh, finding the right people. And there's just a lot of fogginess around this right now and uncertainty that... You know, this could really happen. Now, when I look at something like that, that makes me wonder if Mr. O is an onto something in saying that maybe this isn't the plan. Maybe you are meant to be with somebody younger, but more mature, you know, then you just haven't found them yet. Well, I don't even necessarily if, know if that's what it is, Ari. I sort of feel like by saying it's not the plan, maybe the guides don't have a plan for you to be with any particular person, no matter their age. Maybe it's really how you do it. So you, you have to rely either on your own sense of it happens in a destiny way or it just happens. I mean, maybe you're expecting it to happen because of some sort of sense of a destiny, but maybe it's just going to happen when it happens and maybe it won't. And that's love. You know, sometimes you can't really love. predict when you're going to fall in love. It just happens. And of course, I get what you're saying because you don't feel you're getting that love in return. And you're right. This is about maturity of people. Younger men or women don't always really realize what the depth of their feelings really means. You may, but maybe those men aren't. So I don't know what your answer is. I really don't. <laughs> Let me take a look at the timing Hi, first. Yourself. Just for the heck of it and see what's going on. I can dig it. I can dig uh, it. So you really, uh, it would serve you well to leave your question with Violet because sometimes you're just not here by the right. time I get I mean, get you're to seven you. or eight down the list and yeah. I'm not going to wait for you to show up and post your question if you haven't by then. And we're sorry about that, but you know, we get carried away here. We get busy. <clears throat> All right. right. I mean, we Do have I... less than an hour. We have 45 minutes to get through seven or eight people. I think you are too. I agree with you, you know, so I know it's got to be frustrating, Divine Empress. All right. Five months. Can you wait five months? <laughs> <laughs> this is an Come interesting follow-up card to that, and I want to read it to you. Are you asking from your true higher self? And if you are, it says the time frame is sooner than you think. So maybe something could happen before five months. But truly, ask, are you asking truly from your higher self here? Or are you just so frustrated with some of the people, you know, that you have been meeting that, 
you know, it's making you go this route of, I must have a more mature, older man. You're welcome. So think about that, and hopefully, maybe in five months' time, I would really say to be practical about this, uh, Divine, I'd give it five months to the end of the year when maybe you could meet someone. Hang on You know, there. that's in, you know, regards to the question. I know it's not the same, but you'll always have us. And he's old. He's old. <laughs> and very immature. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, Divine. But, I hope that But I love everybody. Bit. I do. I love everybody. It's not over six. Well, you know, you are young, girl. That's all I got to say. Sometimes things happen when they happen. Okay, it's true that I met Mr. O when I was what? Like... 18, 19. Yeah, you were about 19, I think. But, you know, so you're in the range. Just uh, hang in there. But you trapped me. I did not trap him. And now I'm He's here lying. forever. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Silly man. And that's what you have to do, Divine Empress. You got to figure out how to trap him. I didn't trap him. For goodness sakes, we did it for like five years before we got married. Oh, do you want me to give details? <laughs> anyway. No. All right. <laughs> SP is up. SP is up. Let's move on before it gets deep here. Good luck with that, Divine. I know. Violet's right. It's going to be Christmas time before we know it. <laughs> Okay, a reading for the next, a career, career reading for, reading April. for month of April. Okay, well, I'll use, oh wait, I used that one already. I'll use the four hearts. We don't think we can do the Tarot Singles Cruise, Victoria. Somebody told us that all of the available cruise ships have mice. <laughs> Tarot <laughs> singles cruise. Well, these cruise ships these we days. We could bring Sonny and Toby for the mice. I don't know. Though. You know so what? The way ships are hitting bridges and stuff. <laughs> or I heard about a cruise ship that left some people behind on an island because they missed the time frame they were supposed to get back on board. And then they died in a swamp. No, they did not die, but it was kind of creepy. They were older, and um, so I don't know. Maybe we could have the senior, uh, a senior meetup <laughs> at the Parks and Rec Center. <laughs> you guys can't, can you see what he's doing here? Sonny. He wants the next dance. I know, he's looking at me with such interesting eyes right now. <laughs> I have never been on a cruise ship, and I don't think I even want to. Do you want to put your hands on the card for SP? Uh. Put your good mojo on them there. Okay. They are blessed by Sunny. I hope they are good cards. So does he. All right. I'll be done in a minute, Sunny. I'll be done right now. Oh, we've got the Six of Cups reversed. We have the Moon upright. We have the Four of Pentacles upright. It's a career reading. I think I'm going to want those Lenormand down too this time. Oh. The birds. <clears throat> And the garden. Well, April is an interesting month, career-wise, maybe. Um, 
The six of cups just indicates some unpleasantness because it's reversed, I'll say that. So it indicates some unpleasantment with, um, uh, you know, with, I don't know, something dredging up the past in some way here. And it's as if uh, <coughs> this is kind of depressing for you. It just as though... I don't know Does what it feel this like a story in a way? Like maybe it's being it's being hidden from you or something like that. What what from the past is causing something in your career? Like maybe you know it's not it's a coast. And it's I mean, not almost like what you're saying there. Like is there something from your past haunting your career aims and goals right now? There seems to be a bit of uncertainty. It's almost as if you're left hanging on something. Oh, gosh, and I think, <laughs> I wonder if I know what that is, SP, but it looks as though there's just still some uncertainty, some things that need to be revealed that are still hidden. Is there a possibility that there could be a slowdown and that there could be layoffs or that they could let people go? I'm wondering if this is saying that maybe things oh. are very flexible and that maybe, you know, the you or that you yourself will feel you need to take a break from this somehow either the machinations going on around you being involved in more of a, pol a politic or a gossip i'm not seeing that with the four of pentacles i feel with the four oh of i'm sorry i thought it was the four of swords i'm sorry i kind of wondered what you were thinking yes there. sorry that's I all right because it's the earth that. you right. know you'll have to rephrase that i think the uncertainty has to do with something that's really important to you, of value to you. There's something being hidden that you need to find out. And for some reason, it's rooted in the past in some way. I don't know if it's you, like past work performance, um, past work decisions. I'm not sure. Right. If this could be about, you know, something to do with the pay structures or financial compensation or the for move the work, that you wanted to make right or the work but i'm wondering if maybe that is either in jeopardy or is just sort of in a holding state of some sort well, where they're not willing to maybe i mean are they is your career merit-based like do they need to see something before they give you more money or raise you can't you know? rule that out you know, and I think here this is interesting because remember Mercury is retrograde, but I think that networking or talking to people about this, you know, in your work environment is very important. You know, yeah. you need to communicate. You need to find out what's going on, what is hidden beneath the surface, what might be holding something back, what might be um, you know, that's of value to you. And I think this is the time to try to find answers. Well, with the basis of that, I almost wonder, too, if there are other people in your career or situation who are also in this boat. Like maybe this is something that is company-wide in a way that this is affecting either the industry you're in or specifically the company or, or situation you work with, too. So I do feel like maybe there's camaraderie in the other people in the workforce that maybe would help you understand what's going on. Reach out maybe when appropriate. I think you're gonna to need to reach out and do some communicating to get to the bottom of the two letter mons, what this is. Uh, I'm glad you asked that. The two letter mons are the birds, which is about communication, and the garden. The garden is about a more public sphere, but that could be your, your workplace, okay? So it's talking about, to me, communicating with people at work, you know, that this is related to your career in some way. Now, if you're thinking of looking for another job, you know, if that's on the agenda, then I would say this is the time to strike out and network and send out letters and communications to do <clears throat> so. Um, there's a bit of uncertainty surrounding this right now, rest assured that, you know, everything's a little bit wonky right now with the retrograde. So if you are going to communicate, just be clear, be careful in your approach, play it safe. But by all means, you deserve to get to the bottom of whatever you feel might be being held back from you or uh, information that you need to know that you're not getting. 
Violet the moon wants is to gone. know if we're ready to close. <laughs> Well, we, we don't do have our, about six or seven people to finish up. In a, right, we don't, don't. You don't have to tell me that, Mr. O. I think I'm I going do. to finish what I said, that we don't have our quota, but we are going pretty slow today. So, yeah, we might consider closing the list. Next time you say that, I'll turn off your mic. You may do that, but I had a right to stop you for interrupting me. I can type. He's so evil. All right. It must be on your end, Dextrose, because we have a very strong signal tonight. We have only dropped flint frames less than 1%. Oh, wow. So, sorry. Hopefully good. you can hang in there. Well, we are moving on, and we are on Dex. Dex right now. What is the outcome of me giving my ex a second chance? Two readers said X It is just back. started. It's going to be April 24th or 5th. I think April 25th is the day. But then there's a shadow period after. Well, for your question, I'm going to use my Tarot of the Secrets. Let's see if there's anything we can find out for you. Don't listen to Violet Dextros. She would have Mercury retrograde last for five months. Oh, yeah. Well, there's the pre-shadow before the pre-eclipse of the pre-shadow. Did she say that here or no, anything? Because I don't silly. see that. I'm just being silly. <laughs> There is a two-week period before and after I know the that. Retrograde. I know that. Mr. O just wants the retrograde to be over when it's over. That's part of the problem. Well, perhaps. But I, well, I can't perhaps. argue with that. Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> I, personally feel, I personally feel that the before the retrograde is a lot harder on me than the after. I have no idea. <laughs> I certainly don't like it, but I, I just steal. Okay, Dex, here we go. Oh, the moon. And the sun. You have the moon and the sun. Your moon is upright, huh. but your sun is reversed. Of course, reverse sun is not so bad. Not really. And you have the four of cups, but it is reversed too. And of course, that kind of improves its disposition i think oh my goodness well here paths <clears throat> or crossroads or crossroads and twee i mean tree well so what are the chances them, what you have given are, them a chance what are the chances it's a little bit uncertain the moon is here to say, we're not completely sure. We think there's maybe some possibility for success here. The sun is positive, you know, upright or reversed. So I do think there's a possibility that this could be rekindled. And that is the four, right? Mm -hmm, of course. But it's almost mm -hmm. as if there's got to be an opportunity that comes along that can kind of make this happen. You know, um, I mean, like, for example, are you speaking now? Do you see each other on a regular basis? Um, is there some ties and some opportunity that could come along that could potentially rekindle something? And the reason I'm saying that is that, you know, there's a potential for growth here with the tree. Um, that is the tree, right? Or is that the mm -hmm. birds? It's the tree. It's the tree. There's a potential of growth here with the tree, but, you know, the crossroads indicate that it's really going to depend a lot on where one or both of you see yourselves heading. You know, what, you know, what, what, what road you want to travel, what road you want to take, and will it be one that you want to take together? 
So there is some uncertainty here. What is your gut telling you? The moon is also about intuition and using it. And so you've gone to a couple sites, you know, other readers who have told you there's a potential here. Is it telling you you should follow, you know, this joy and try to create an opportunity to rekindle this growth? And I don't know, I'm sort of be gassed by the the moon there because i feel like there'll always be something that maybe you won't be able to understand or totally get you know a mystery going on like there's something that maybe you won't be able to perceive that is either you know a secret that you're just not going to get to and i know this is real because i read novels about this where people don't know things about people they've lived with for years. So I know it's possible. Okay, I'm just being a little bit flighty here. But I do feel everything else Banshee said is pretty spot on. I feel <laughs> that the sun reverse doesn't indicate real bad things. Now, I feel a little difference with that four of cups because I sort of feel like it emphasizes that you will see the right choice. Maybe she says it as opportunity. To me, I, I see it as you thinking about things and realizing there is only really one way to go. Is that the opportunity? I guess it is. So with the Lenormon. That was a fun observation, Victoria. That was. The tree and the paths. I just feel you will grow, but you may realize that like the moon doesn't exactly reveal everything, these paths you take may not always be exactly the direction you want to go. I don't think that they're going to be horribly in a bad direction, but you may not just feel totally confident that everything is, is where you want it. And is that the basis of, of a relationship or, or a lasting no. relationship? I don't know. For you. You have some interesting ideas there, Mr. O. On the path, I I I'm gonna stick with what I said about the path. I think that are your paths gonna cross again? There could be some growth if your paths can cross again. Mm -hmm. If an opportunity to bring you both together again and be on the same page comes to be, you know that's that four of cups. So one thing for certain is use your intuition to de determine. If there is an opportunity to either connect again with this person, to talk to them about things, to see if, you know, there is any possibilities for the future, then take it, you know, take it. I, it's a little bit uncertain with the moon there, I will say that. So good luck with that, Dex. And Mary the Aries, I think, is up. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Well, we're going through this list pretty quick. I think you were wrong. Then tell Violet she has to reopen the list. Of course, a cell is here. I forgot to put a cell on the list. Okay, she's not wrong. <laughs> and did I get Shirley on the list? Shirley is after Mary, and I don't have Shirley on. Okay, so no wonder the list looks shorter to me. Ah, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay. We've talked to you about this. It's not like this is the first time. <laughs> and it won't be the last. And Violet calls the tune. I have no <laughs> choice but to say the list is closed. Violet, you are evil. Yes, you're there, Barry. Don't or Shirley, don't worry. So what is Mary's question? What does spirit... I think are we on Mary's question? Yeah. Okay. What does spirit want me to know? I still like that eclipse comment. That was cute. Sun and the moon are coming together. I'd love to throw the letter on. Oh, is it my deck again? I thought I used mine. Did you? I thought I used the Secrets Tarot. Oh, I thought I used the sun my... The okay. Moon. The Sun and the Moon. That was uh, from the Secrets Tarot. Fine. I will use a non cooling deck this time. Banshee's favorite aunt was Mary. Mine my too. Aunt, Mary. aunt Mary. She was not an Aries, but she was a fire sign. 
She was a Leo. She was a nice Leo. And she loved that astrology. She loved wearing symbols of her zodiac sign. my aunt was kind of responsible for me getting into libraries which also she's kind of responsible then for me being in the right place at the right time to trap as he put it Mr. O. She knew how to do it. <laughs> <clears throat> oh wow huh. your sister is a Leo. The sister Mary. And named Mary, yeah. Ah. So does that mean that there's a child named Barb who's the niece? <laughs> or Banshee, whichever. Banshee, you're funny. <laughs> oh, look at that little Banshee right here. Around. Okay, so now I'm forgetting the question again. <laughs> what does Spirit want you to know? Well, they want you to know definitely about this King of Cups reversed. Mm. So I think what Spirit is saying, this is a time to not allow your emotions <clears throat> to overwhelm you. This is a time also to not give more than you're receiving back. Um, I think, you know, and I know I usually save that for the pentacle cards in a way, but with the king, he can be very, very um, empathic. And he can be very, very sensitive to others' needs. And when he's reversed, that could be to a fault. It could go both ways. It could either be you're not sensitive enough or you're too sensitive. you got to get kind of your emotions in check. I think that's what spirit, what, what, what you need well, to I'm know. Well, I'm going to go right a now. little different here because when I look at the King of Cups reversed, I think spirit is saying they want you to try to be more of a mentor or helpful <laughs> That benevolent to others or they sort of feel that that maybe you haven't been and, and that that is bothering them that they feel there's something a different role for you to play you know it is about some of the things Banshee said but it may be specifically about really taking an active role in trying to bring kindness to a person or a situation so why is this important now we have the other end of the cups, the page of cups reversed. No, it's the four of cups. Oh, dang it. I saw, oh, the four of cups reversed. Go for it, Banshee. Why is it important? <laughs> Spin it, Banshee. Why is this important? Because, you know, there's a possibility here that some, some opportunity is going to come to you. And I don't know, it might be something that, that could bring you joy, uh, could bring you happiness if, you, if you're if you open to it. So, and I think again here, if you're not really emotionally um, in a good place right now, you could miss out on something very pleasurable that, uh, you know, could, could actually bring more happiness and joy into your life. Well, when I said, you know, maybe they wanted you to have more of a mentorly or benevolent kind of role, maybe it's important that you, they see you choosing that. Uh, or if that's not really what's indicated, choosing that thing that takes you towards that. But I sort of like the way it plays with that. They're both cups. And, of course, the Four of Cups is about making a choice, sort of looking at those opportunities and saying, that's the one I want. So maybe this is saying the spirits feel it's important for you to understand that you should choose this. And if I'm off on what that means, you know, being a mentor in some fashion, then I am. But, you know, they want you to choose what this quality or this thing can represent. Well, where is this whole thing headed? It's another four. It's the four of swords reversed. 
Oh. Well, I think where this is headed is that this could really re-energize you. This could make you more motivated. This could make you more driven, mm. excited about things again. Um, this could... Um, this could just bring about some a lot of activity uh, in your life. I like that. And, of course, I know about, you know, the kind of work that you like to do and what you were doing before. So I'm wondering if this is saying that maybe, you know, these opportunities may have a chance of coming up again, that maybe this represents some opportunity coming to you. Um, I'm not sure I exactly see that, but I get that feeling, though, um, that it's it is important that you you get ready to return to this or to reinvigorate in this way so here's the letter mind i might touch on that again in a little bit let's see the letter the mind. dog oh and the sith and possibly the sith is curving away i guess what do you think it's hard to say its main thrust is going that way it is hard to say. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of wondering here if this is about mending a friendship, um, a rift in a friendship or Ooh. a rift with, you know, something. There seems to be, you know, this. You know, it starts to put together that way in a way. It does. Because of that king. Because of that king. Because I looked at it a little differently than you did. You did. And so I think here that, you know, if you're emotionally, you, you know, you need to pull yourself more together. Let's start at the beginning again, for me anyway, you know, emotionally here. And um, understand that, you know, you shouldn't have to, I don't know, give the shirt off your back all the time to somebody or give that shoulder for people to lean on all the time uh, if you yourself need some emotional support. And vice versa, if you are able to give emotional yeah, support and you're I not, like uh, you know, then I think that that's, that's the thing here. I think it will present you with an opportunity um, to re-energize something, to rekindle something in a way, to put more energy in something. And for some reason, since I see the dog here, and the dog can mean a lot of different things, trust, loyalty, comfort, security, but I, it's also about friends. And because there's a big emotional thing here, I almost think this has to do with your personal life and that it could be either mending a friendship or mending a relationship with a family member. Right. It may have been that you had a very different role, more like the king upright, that kind of kinder, you know, role with them. And that for some reason, spirit realizes that is all has really changed to the point that it makes some big differences that will lead to these other things. But I think Banshee's right. This is an opportunity maybe for you to change that previous picture or change where that picture changed to. Good luck. I don't know if this makes sense to you, but that's what the cards have. We Mary, had to work to that one in. Eh? Well, I had to think about it a little bit, but I sort of was leaning that way. Um, the dog just kind of sealed it to me as being more personal interpersonal relationships. Mm -hmm. I like them all, you know, guys, but Candle Mass is special because it was our, our our circle's creation date, or close to May it. Day, May Day, <laughs> Kara, May Day. Kara, yeah, we're going to have to do a birthday reading for Kara yeah, around May Day. Day. Babe. All right, so we are on Shirley, I believe. May I please ask, is Des interested in me as more than a friend with good intentions? You're a duck. All right. I'm going to go to the uh, Nefertiri. I shouldn't take a long nap before. And it really wasn't that long a nap. I think what happened was I just slept kind of hard there. And so I'm kind of foggy, just foggy. Sorry. Thank you for your question, Shirley. Oh, I like.
like spring e I like the equinoxes. I just do. They're my favorite time, that time of balance. A time of balance between light and dark. I really do like that. Those transition times. Well, or the in-between transition time. So the first card is the Hermit. The second card is the Ace of Swords reversed. And the final card is the reversed Three of Wands. So Ooh. I'm not sure about Des. And we have the Heart, though, in Lenormand. And? And the Man. Hmm, so very interesting. Indeed. Um, well... That doesn't necessarily mean... Let's look at the reading. Let's look at the reading. It seems as though does is kind of a... <clears throat> kind of a loner in certain ways, maybe in relationships. I, I don't know. It seems as though... Or has it been in one in a while? Or hasn't been in one in a while? Or maybe right now he's pulling himself back, you know, from such. And is it you say that's the Ace of Swords? Yes, I did. So that's the Ace of Swords in the middle. Reversed. A rever I know, I can see it's reversed. Um, I think here that they're, they're not thinking very clearly in terms of their future plans and intentions. And with that three of, that's the three of wands, right? Yes. So with the three of wands reversed, it's indicating to me that they're not really planning anything right now. But, there are feelings here. I think there are some feelings here that may be more than just platonic. Bam, I like that. I, I think, Shirley, you have a person that is maybe at this point interested in going slowly and cautiously, uh, and maybe they don't really have any kind of plan. They just want to see how it unfolds. The hermit kind of represents a person who's very patient, who is willing to wait for something to come to them to get what they want, in a way. So it may be that they might be waiting for your overtures, for you to lead the direction. So in a sense, when I look at that Ace of Swords reverse there, that may be saying that they they don't wish to be more assertive in this. They may want you to be more assertive, but you may have to figure out exactly how that works in that context because maybe you know being too assertive might not play well to them but i get the feeling like they're they're showing interest or that they have interest they have interest or i think you know at the very least they definitely care about you they do care about you um and to me, the heart is about romance. It just concerns me that I don't see any clear thing leading to, you know, I'm going to fall in love and with you. And Shirley or I'm going to says they this. live a town away, oh. uh, but they have interacted at their workplace. Okay. So, and you know, that's just conventional wisdom from decades ago. I always heard this. Don't have a relationship at work because if you break up, you still have to see that person possibly. But maybe that is the space they're operating from, that they don't want to make any assumptions, you know. And in a sense, living a distance away and only connecting to work, that could be a, a hermit kind of sense in a way. I just feel they haven't made their minds up about their intentions or their yeah. future yet. They, they're, they're very cloudy in their thinking in regards to what they want right now. But there are some feelings here they care about you. So, um, you know, that's song. something that could develop in time. I'm just not seeing right at this very moment here, you know, romance is on their mind at the moment. But there's hope here. I think I so. Gotta leave it at that. I think so. <laughs> Good luck with that, Shirley. Good luck. Let us know. Yeah, look, keep, hey, keep those lines of communication going. Never know. Good luck with that. Ah, I see. Okay, so that's how it happened. Cool. Good luck. I'm thirsty.
<clears throat> Lilith. Yeah, I know. I had to grab some of my beverage here. Lilith asks, I'm always seeing good signs, but no progress. Work and romance situation has worsened or stagnated. Also feeling quite heavy. What do I need to know here? Okay. I need the letter on. So is it about work and romance? Hmm. A little. How do we want to do that? Well, let's look at the first part of the question. We could just ask in general and see how it picks it up. Well, I was wondering if we should just do a couple cards for work and a couple two cards and for romance and okay. just see what we get um, about these situations. If we see any kind of progress okay. there. Let's try that. You got well, this, Shirley. Well, that's a good sign, Shirley. You got this. Don't tell them about us, though. <laughs> yet. <laughs> I just say keep hope alive, you know. This doesn't sound hopeless. It just doesn't sound like at the moment it's ready to spark yet. All right. I'm going to use my Raven's Dream for this one. Our pleasure. Hey, you're welcome, Shirley. Sorry we're a little kooky today. Holy <laughs> cow. And I'm tired, too. I don't know why. Well, I had a... I know it was just chair yoga, right? But it was quite a workout this morning. She I worked out last night, and I'm a little sore. Going today. through the paces mm. today. And, uh, oh, tomorrow we're working out again. Well, hopefully. I'm just not sure. I'm gonna try. It's going to be cold tomorrow. And I have something else to do, too. Don't and I? I have to run somewhere, too. we got a ton of things to do. We have to prep, prep some things for our readings on Saturday. Yeah. Pack some bags and stuff. All right. Um, let's see what we have here on this. Okay, so the two way I'm looking at this, and I'm going to do it is... There's going to be uh, two cards, work, romance, work, romance. And let's do Lenormand for each and see what we get. And we're going to start with the work. Let's just lay out the work. <clears throat> I have the Six of Pentacles reversed there. Oh, yeah. And the Ace of Cups reversed. It just seems as though... You feel unfulfilled there right now or with the work situation or with your or with career goals. Uh, there's a sense of feeling unfulfilled that something just doesn't seem to keep moving in a good direction. Like you may start some project or goal and it just kind of peters out. You know, I also feel here that maybe you feel unfulfilled because you either feel like you might be being taken advantage of in some way, you're not getting compensated fairly, or you feel like you're putting out so much and you're not getting what you expect in return out of the situation. You're definitely not in love with your work situation um, in a great way. You might be thankful you have a job, but it's well, not... Well, you might like what you do. Right, but this experience is not really good because you don't feel... There's any kind of flow that really is moving anywhere. It just sort of seems like, you know, and this may not be your job, but you're just moving papers from one side of the desk to the other side of the desk, and you, you nothing's really going on there. It's almost exactly like what you said there. You feel like you see some signs, but then things just don't seem to pan out. Now let's see what we've got here. So with the Lenormand, you have the birds, and you have the fox. And the fox can talk about workplaces. Well, yeah, it talks about places of employment. Um, it could mean a couple of different things here that maybe it's time to seek out empl employment, throw some feelers out there for another job, or how about this too, is maybe you need to talk to somebody about the situation at work. Because this is the birds and this is your em I, this could be your employer, actually. This could be you as an employee, but it could also be you, you know, your employer. Is that maybe you need to have a conversation to find out what's wrong here. 
a good open conversation, uh, maybe, you know, not so much directed at you so much, but maybe trying to surmise the workplace flow and how you see yourself going in there, not getting too personable about it in a sense. That is if you're actually talking with higher ups in, in any manner. I also feel the fox is a sign here that, you know, don't beat yourself up too much because it seems to me you are doing what you need to do. I think the fox is a smart, a crafty person, an employee, uh, and um, it's just at the job. It just seems like you're not getting what you deserve here. So I guess it's up to you to decide to be smart about this and decide what you need to do about it. Do you need to connect with somebody there to figure this out? Or do you need to start networking and looking for another job? All right, let's go to the next let's one. Let's go to love. Let's see what's going on there. I hope it's a little better. But, wow. <laughs> you know how we were talking about not getting what you deserve or some imbalance? In the love department, you have justice reversed. But then you have the two of wands upright. I'll let you go first on this one, Mr. Emotional Exchanges. Let's see your letter mind. Paths or crossroads and clover. Oh. Okay. And it's the path and it's the two of wands. I find that quite interesting. That is interesting. There you go. Um, and, of course, justice reversed is not very lucky, but that's just me being pithy here. It's okay. Um, justice reversed in the two of wands. You may possibly feel relationship, a specific one, or in general, if you're in a dating field, like it just hasn't really worked out for you, or you feel you've been taken advantage of, or you feel there's been some unfairness, you've been treated shabbily, um, and yet you feel, you know, you still feel you have circumstances in hand in a way that would allow you to find what you're looking for in romance. But up to now, maybe that hasn't happened or you feel you've been put in a position maybe of having to be more discerning, you know, be more in control, have things in hand in there to decide when a relationship really shows no viability or is working against you in certain ways. It's interesting to me that the path is here. I didn't do those yet. I just did the two tarot, so that's fine, though. That's okay, and the two of wands is here. And I'm going to go back to this a little bit here. I feel as though you feel like your your success is, is, is maybe limited by people's unfair... Um, I just can't think today. Um, unfair, uh, I can't think of the words. Ways that they judge you. I guess that's what I want to say. The unfair way that they look at you. You feel as though maybe sometimes uh, you're not given a fair shake, you know, in love and romance. People either are not uh, addressing, you know, your needs in, the relation in a relationship uh, or... You just feel like it's hard to connect with people who are going to treat you right. And I think that may be about to change. That's the good news here. Because, you know, as you're moving forward now, I think on this path to finding either stability in a relationship you're in or, you know, finding a relationship, the Clover's here saying something is going to click. Something is just going to click, and it's going to seem very out of the blue almost. And when it happens, it's just going to change everything. I'm coming at that a little differently, but I like this this thing she's talking about here. Because to me, what it seemed like, you were you know, m moving things along the path you felt they would, realizing that maybe life isn't fair, or some relationships aren't fair, but you wanted to stick to your plan of being in control. But maybe you need to lose the sense of control and just throw caution to the wind on some terms 
and go for your luck angle in a new direction that could be different directions, i.e. just trusting that to some degree, maybe shaking it up and not sticking with your plan for a relationship, but really just trying to say, I'm going for it. And so th this is not saying like all of a sudden you start hanging out at a notorious singles bar, but it is talking about you shaking up what was tried and true for you, the two of one sense of a plan that you knew you wanted to stick to. Maybe this is saying you need to throw away the script and kind of go with the luck angle and the 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 interesting intersectionality of paths. Well, I will say this. I think that the love area of your life is looking like it's definitely going to change for the better. Your work yeah. situation is going to take some work, you know, to yeah. get there. Um, it's still a struggle. But I think you might start to see something happening in the love and romance department. And I like that. Like Victoria. I said, it's just going to seem like it's going to come out of the blue. So I wish you luck with that. That's kind of like the clover. The clover is a very lucky card in the Lenormand. It's kind of like the Wheel of Fortune of the Lenormand. Of tarot. Yeah. Uh, right. Of tarot, yes. All right. Uh, so. Firespot. That was uh, Lilith, right? Yeah. And we are on Firespot. Okay. So good luck, Lilith. I good luck, Lilith. hope that helped. It made sense. I had salted caramel soft serve ice cream earlier, drizzled with dark chocolate syrup and a little whipped cream on top. All, All right. right, so for this reading, so for I probably am sh having a sugar burnout. <laughs> Firespawn asks, I'm curious if S is planning to reach out to me this year. I'm going to go back to the tarot of the princesses i'm going to do this as a yes or no and then if there's any ambiguity we'll try to okay do another reading on it we'll see though yes or no well s reach out it was blue bunny soft serve ice cream and it's their new flavor <laughs> i like soft serve ice cream and it was so nice to see they now have some in you know in the stores that I don't have to go to Dairy Queen for it or whatever. And all these cool flavors. They have a really tasty uh, mint one too, chocolate chip mint. And um, then they have vanilla and chocolate. I don't know if they have a strawberry yet, but they came out with salted caramel. So in on that. <laughs> Okay, so I did the yes or no, and it's leaning towards yes. There are two aces. So did you ask if you should reach out, if yes is planning to, S is planning to reach, reach out, out to you. And our third card was the five of swords, oh. which is upright. It may now, not be a good thing. <laughs> it may not be a good thing. But I'm going to do the Leonard Mond real quick, but why don't you talk about the Five of Swords in general? Well, I don't always like to let, you know, a standard interpretation pull me along. Sometimes I will look at the particular qualities of the image on the deck and try to decide what that actually means. And I think what this says to me is that S really comes, at least in their own mind, from a different world than you. And that... The idea of reaching out to you is sort of a trepidation for us because it sort of feels like it's two different worlds that normally don't get along. And I'm not talking about the typical qualities of Five of Swords, about animosity and possible, you know, aggressive energies towards each other. But this is maybe talking about the qualities of things that don't normally get along well. And so that's what the challenge is about, is that maybe S feels they're, they're in a, a different sense from you and that you're like oil and water to some degree, night and day. But I think that it is possible they will reach out to you. Well, 
I'm not that confident. I look. I peeked at the Lenormand. Well, but, but I choices. wasn't that confident anyway. I never like to see the Five of Swords in a reading. You know, that may be about love or you know wanting somebody back in your life. It seems as though there may have been some conflict or disagreement that maybe pulled you apart. Is that possible? And, you know, old wounds could be opened here. The Five of Swords is kind of a card of contention. And so I feel that that could be possible here. And so to add to that... But look at that card. I understand. It just means that they're... There are different qualities there. It's what Five of Swords makes me feel, so i got to go with it. All right. And uh, to add to that, let's throw okay, out... Okay, you say there isn't any conflict. I'm not saying no. that there's conflict so much as that, that there's something, different worlds about you or different perspectives in a sense, that there's, you know, oil well, and water, fire and ice perspectives between you. That's what that's I'm saying. That's what he said. That's right. And I said the conflict. Um, you know, it could maybe it could result in conflict. That's what's concerning me a little bit here. And now, if I could toss down the letter, mond. Clouds. And the dark side is facing the letter. And so, see, to me, that indicates that there could be some troubling news of some sort. Um, I don't know. Maybe they would get in touch with you. Are they potentially in some sort of relationship that is conflictual? It's possible they may connect with you after a breakup of some sort. Um, you know, that's a possibility. Uh, they seem to be... The letter is about something that could cause some uncertainty or some depression in some way. So I think if they contact you, it could make you sad in some way. And I don't know why. It's either because of news that they have to tell you or, you know, the situation itself won't be happy. Right. So it's sort of like between both of us. Yeah, they may reach out to you, but it may not be... Um, what you expected in a sense well or it might just not be about a happy occasion and so like somebody you know an old friend for example could call me and say well my mother just died or i'm getting a divorce you know or something like that and and it could be upsetting it may not be a happy connection when they do get back there could be something going on and that five of swords is probably at the heart of it here so, you know, it may not be between the two of you. I threw that out there as a possibility, not knowing what your status was with this person. But it could be something else that they're dealing with. And you kind of say that too there. But it is a possibility. It's leaning towards yes, but it doesn't mean it's an absolutely yes, um, fire spawn. It just may be like about... 66 percent two-thirds possibility i think but it's leaning those... towards yes and that like i said the connection might make you a little bit sad or a little bit confused um on how maybe to help them or you know where this is taking things i don't know so, Does that, i hope that makes sense fire spawn thinks you're right that it's something else they're dealing with Okay. So may have to wait for these things to subside. Well, I think it's part of why they're going to call you. <laughs> That's what I think. But I don't know exactly when. I do think sometime this year, that was your question, right? That they right. will reconnect with you. Reach out. Yeah, reach out. All right. Well, you're welcome and good luck. Hopefully it's not a bad thing. And so now we are on a cell. So, hey, you're welcome, Fire Spawn. You're welcome, Fire Spawn. Will there still be love in my life? Will I love again? Who will be my true love? Ah, uh, that's several questions. I know. Well. Um, we're just should do a general read and see how it, it maps to that. I think so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know she would come. Q. 
She said BRB. Be right back. I know. I didn't notice that oh, from before, okay. though. Be more attentive. Like you always are. <laughs> no. I am deck, not. By the way. It's your deck, by the way. Didn't I just put a deck back? I used the princess deck for their question fire spawn. Remember? Okay. Yeah, you're right. I Who never should I... have woke her up. I should have just let her sleep on she the Should have just let me sleep and run the show Hi, without it's the me. Oberon show. <laughs> I think that might have been a good thing today. Cause I'm sorry, I'm a little bit foggy. I can't imagine why. I don't think I ate enough today, frankly. I shouldn't have had that ice cream when I did. I had a pretty darn good meal earlier in the day. So I'm looking at all those little teethed things, Kara. Kara. And I went to see Godzilla X Kong with he my did. son today. He had it son so and father cool. son movie day. It was father son movie Aww. day and we liked it. King Kong and Godzilla and a number of other monsters. So it was really cool. There's giant freaky spider thing and a couple of sea serpents. And then this thing that was bigger than Godzilla. It was like almost twice the size of Godzilla. I need more. More Godzilla? She said so. <laughs> no. More father-son? Yeah, I guess so. Not snow. I need more sleep. Oh. That's what I need. No. It's true. She gets enough sleep. She does. All right. Let's see what we can do for a cell. I'm using my Ciro Marchetti voice vision deck. I love it. Well, I've got the Two of Wands reversed. Isn't that a beautiful card, though? Wow. I got the sun upright. And I got Judgment upright. Beautiful cards. They are pretty. What Over do you got? here, I have the man <laughs> and the lily. And I think I like the news possibly there. We'll but, have some information for but I'm you gonna, as well. I'm going to start with this too. Yeah, because you go. I think the two wands reverse says that your the plan did not work. Your plan did not work or you feel your plans did not work. But as you are asking, you are going to be happy again. The sun is not just good things happening. The sun specifically does talk about marriage and children. It's not a guarantee, but it's saying that these things are in a vibration for you, that love can find you, that happiness can find you. And judgment itself says something changes big for you. Something changes. It's either a realization you have, or it's a set of circumstances you have that somehow you fall into a situation that maybe brings a change to you. And because of the question you ask, I think that's what the change is about. Love. I think there's some delays. There's been some delays. There's been some disappointments or setbacks in the romance department for you as well. But I believe that you're coming into a time where there's going to be a lot more joy there's going to be love there's going to be romance you're going to be happy you're going to be happy with what's going on you know in in your life romantically i think that's a given here and i think it may happen it may i am almost looking at this as like a cause and effect here You've been under enduring some setbacks and some delays, but your fortunes are going to change for the better. The sun will shine for you. Yes, you will love again, and you will be loved. And I feel here that this is going to change your life. This is going to be a major shift and change in your life for the better. Now, what about this Len Armand? I think the Len Armand to me, when I'm looking at this, indicates to me that you might meet somebody who's a little bit more mature and older and um, very stable. And uh, this could 
truly be something that's long term. I can't give you much information about this person other than the fact that I believe he's very wise, experienced. Um, I think he's knowledgeable and he's older. He's mature. So in other words, this isn't somebody who, um, you know, is young and boy, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Divine Empress Aries would have loved to have this card and these cards in her reading because she's looking for an older individual. And I think that's what you're going to find here. And if they're not older, they're definitely going to be more mature. I feel this vibe too from these cards. I also feel too that this is saying that just as this card is about a change coming into your life, this is a card about changing circumstances too. And it may be that your impressions about who you want to love will also evolve so that the idea that maybe somebody who is not typically your match will be somebody who will be pleasing to you. Maybe because they are a little older or a little bit wiser or maybe they have more going on in a stable kind of life that you could be a part of. So I think it will happen for you, Sal. As always, I wish the best for you, and I just hope you know that your wishes can come true. And that's what we have for you. That's what we have for you. Good luck with that. I need more ice cream. Is that what you're saying, Kara? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not sure I do. You're welcome. I think I do need to eat something, though, when we're done with the show. It's a little late. I don't like to eat late, but I Some think nacho I Some nacho chips? Nacho chips. Ah, well, that would, with cheese? <laughs> Anything for you. after ice cream. Oh, we've got that great salsa, though. Mm. Anyway. Maybe not. How about a piece of cheese? Ah, maybe. Or maybe just a bowl of cereal, because milk will wind me down a little bit. kind of relaxes. I could make us a ham sleep. sandwich. Yeah, that's right. We still have ham left. I've got to finish up. <laughs> All right. Decisions, decisions for another time. We've got Violet Lotus's question. I know, and I'm looking and at And did it. you want me to use the Witch's Garden deck, Violet? And did you want that? I didn't notice if you said. National Burrito Day. Hmm. I didn't know that. They probably just... Oh, wait. Taco Bell's open late. Oh. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I'm really... Well, I guess I'm dressed to pick up a carry-out. <laughs> a drive through <laughs> <laughs> It's just around the corner. We could be back in five minutes. That's true. We could. Hmm. All right, so what is the thing? Did you want me to use that deck? Okay, I will do it. It's right here. Okay, so Ooh, I'm curious me. to see what this will say. I'll get you a Baja Blast, Victoria. Have you ever had those? It's like a Mountain Dew flavor. Oh, I like those. I don't drink Mountain Dew. It just hypes me up too much. Like this Aries needs that. Maybe today, though, I needed it. I don't know. I thought I drank enough coffee. All right, Violet, let's see what we've got. Well, we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Huh. We have Judgment reversed. We have the Five of Cups reversed. You know, it's all reversals, and isn't it interesting? It's interesting to me that, you know, you're asking, I think this time, compared to some of the other questions you've asked recently, a more 
negative kind of question. Well, I can't get it together. I'm not doing a, I don't feel I'm doing a good enough job. And immediately we get reversed cards. It's almost like it's picking up, you know, your energy of this feeling of not doing what you need to do. What do you have with the Leonard Mondo? Let's put that out there. Oh. Victoria's going to love this because it's a tale of mice and men or men and mice. <laughs> 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 but I wanted to say, Violet, that I think these are reversed, but they're not necessarily bad. Spirit or your guides are saying that maybe you're expecting too much at this point right now and that you still need to evolve a little more yourself and that you shouldn't worry about delays or what feels like a lack of, you know, evolving judgment wise. I like that. Because the five of cups says, it's all good. It's coming back to you. It just needs to happen in, in the time it wants to happen. And Or that they're saying there's some roses along the way you need to smell a little bit. But here is the man. Yeah, what are you gonna make of that? Mice. I'm curious. Well, I don't know. I'll tell you what. You Somebody's think about annoying, it. Maybe <laughs> you think about it while I do the three cards. Now okay. I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh oh. Only because I don't know what to say. No, I'm just. Micey kidding. men. No, Victoria. <laughs> I like what he said. That makes a lot of sense to me. And I want, you know, we all, what this might be saying is, yes, maybe you're experiencing some setbacks right now, you know, some things that are a little bit hard to handle, some things that are challenging you and challenging your, you know, your transition, your, your, your um, ability to really, you know, do your work. Um, but opportunities are coming back to fix this. I think opportunity, you know, I think here we have to look at what's going on. This may be nothing personal. This may be nothing to do with you and how you're navigating the situations. There are just some situations that happen. And we have to learn how to transit transition through them. I think... For example, Mercury retrograde, the fact that this eclipse is happening now, the fact that there has been so much solar activity and things that affect sensitive people like yourself. You know, I think you have to look at some of the things here and realize you are evolving, but there will always be some things that are going to challenge that. Bye, Victoria. Take care, Victoria. We'll see you soon. And opportunities are coming that will pull you out of this, I think. You know, you can, you can kind of leave these spilled cups here behind. Learn to let them go. Learn to not allow them to take you, you know, to, to distract you from your mission. Because you may not feel like you're doing a good job, but the more you do it, the better connected you get. But if you allow these things to block you or stop you or make you believe that you're not doing a good job, then that's the problem. Well, what I said there, you know, I felt that 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 maybe the star seed people, the star people are saying, you know, don't expect those things too much on yourself. Don't put that on yourself. But when I look at this, these two over here, I feel like that could be a surrogate for you or maybe for a presence that's male to some degree. Not well, there's masculine energy. Masculine energy. Yeah. But they're annoyed or something annoys them. So is this talking about somebody else outside of that, like other other guides you've worked with that maybe sort of feel, you know, that you you're glomming more this way? I don't I don't know exactly what I'm feeling from that. I sort of feel like it's not that. I don't know if it's exactly you. Like this is, you know, annoying you that you're Maybe spirit is saying, or not spirit, star people are saying, don't be annoyed by this, I think. This may be representative of the Arcturians here. 
you know, that you asked about in your question. And I feel here that there's only a temporary disturbance right, here. That's that there that this is not something that's going to be permanent. You just have to de stress a little bit. You just have to re you know, re engage in a constructive manner. But, you know, only when you're ready. Just take the time you need to de stress to get back in the swing of things. Um, there's just been a lot of activity going on. And I feel here you're going to be able to, it's like this is temporary. The cups that are spilled, they're spilled and gone. They will be gone. And you have things to fall back on that's going to get you back on your feet again and moving in the right direction. Because when the five is reversed, I really feel that way about the five of cups. So Right, that's your best card, really. Well, yeah, I think. I think so. But I, I just noticed that, yeah, you know, the cards are definitely picking up what you're going through. and But they're also saying, since you've got that card of hope here, this person is turned towards the light now, uh, that things are going to get better. It's just a matter of time. This is a stressful time. You'll get through it. All right. All right. Don't sweat the small stuff. There you go. I like it. And, you know, I guess that's the point, too. When things happen, you know, when, we, when something blows up on us, say your car, for example, and stuff like that, I mean, it's easy to sweat those stuff. It's, it, you know, we can't ignore them. But we can kind of not allow them to totally disrupt our psyches, you You're know? Welcome. That's the bottom line. Oh, okay. That's so what we have for Reminding you. you all, we will not see you till Sunday. We're not going to be oh, here on Saturday. Sorry, we are missing happy hour. But we will see you Sunday for a full show. Hopefully, we'll be a little bit more concise and not as <laughs> silly. Well, we'll still be silly. There's just no way around that. How can we but be? Um, <laughs> better silly than cranky with each other, right, Mr. O? What? Oh, right. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for their patience with us today. And, yes, Kara, we will see you on Sunday. Take care, everybody. I hope you have a great evening, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye. We'll